Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at some Power Ranger Beast Morpher action figures. I want to say this is wave 4? I think it's wave 4, but feel free to let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below, if the comments still exist. Uh, in any case, we have Cybervillain Robo Blaze, Beast X Red Ranger, and Beast X Blue Ranger. Now if you're familiar with Go Busters at all, you know that about halfway through the series they got kind of powered up modes with new armor. I believe that's what these are supposed to be. It's been a while since I've seen Go Busters, but I'm pretty sure that's what their armors look like. Although, because this is uh, the U.S. adaptation, they also have some crazy new weapons. He comes with like a bow, and they each have weird swords, so we'll take a look. But I believe there are others in this wave. I was trying to find pictures. Unfortunately, they don't show anything on the back of the packaging. They just kind of show the figure, and then they show the key going into the new Beast X King Morpher. Which is, I guess, has something to do with um, Tatagami Lyo, whatever they decide to call him over here. But uh, it's gonna, I assume it's a lion morpher. It's probably got something to do with that Zord. But he looks pretty cool, so this is kind of an upgrade for Blaze. Very interesting. And then we have these two modes, and I apologize, Blue does not want to stand up unless he is propped up against something else. But again, there's really not too much going on in the back of the packaging. I love that artwork on the side to let you know what other figures were in the wave, but it doesn't really have that anymore. I kind of feel like the, the artwork on the packaging is a little bit more subdued as well. I feel like, didn't it used to like travel all the way down the card and now it's just like a mostly white space? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But in any case, these are the three figures we're taking a look at. I think there's also a yellow with armor. Um... I know there's also like uh, versions of red and yellow that come with their B spots that then the B spots transform and, and hook onto the Ranger. I'm probably not going to be getting those. And plus, I think those are a different size class, so they're probably not the same assortment. Um, I also feel like there's another. Uh, I think Vargoyle's in this wave, but I haven't seen them yet. So I think it's maybe yellow and Vargoyle. Those might be the other two. So I'll have to stay on the lookout for them. But I got these on Amazon. Uh, they popped up on Amazon, I want to say, New Year's Day. They were all in stock, so I decided to grab which ones I could, and then I'll be on the lookout for Vargoyle. I probably will get yellow, I'll have to wait and see, but definitely get Vargoyle. Um, yeah, in any case, that's going to do it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get these guys out, and we'll take a closer look. So here are the three figures out of the packaging. I think they look pretty good. Nice detailing, pretty good paint applications. For the most part i did notice right off the bat we lose the paint on the morpher which is kind of a bummer but i think it's because we get it over here on the sunglasses attachment again if you're familiar with uh, go busters you know what that is otherwise i'm sure they'll explain it to us this season but yeah it's, it's a it's a piece that attaches to their morphers so i guess we couldn't have paint on both you have decent paint here on the front of the armor you lose the paint on the go buster piece i guess that technically wasn't painted before that was just on the strap and that whole strap was molded out of that color so i guess that's true um articulation wise pretty much what we're used to for the rangers head side to side a little bit of up and down but it's limited uh shoulders can go out to the side but because you have the big shoulder pads a little little bit of movement is restricted there you could probably push it around if you wanted to uh, elbows and can also swivel at the same joint so you can swivel from side to side there the wrists don't move I can't remember if the wrists move on the old figures or not um, I feel like they did maybe I'm wrong though now I'm, I'm second guessing myself but they don't move here still have the out to the side for the hips and then front you have a butt flap so you can't really go to the back then you have knee joints, and of course you can spin at the knee as well, and then the rest is all one solid piece. But I like the silver here around the knees. I think that looks cool. All in all, I think these look good. Uh, Accessory-wise, so we have Red Ranger comes with two. You have this big sword, which the handle rotates. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, but you can see kind of here around the hilt, you have what looks to be like... Uh, a lion face with the mane and then you have this bow and arrow which also kind of looks like the lion head so i almost feel like these power-ups are going to be very uh very much linked to tatagami Lyo or whatever they decide to call him it seems like all their power-ups are somehow related to him or maybe 
like the sunglasses mode is separate but then they use that beast king morpher i talked about to get all these weapons and things i'm not sure this can rotate so if you want him to hold the bow but you want the the head to face forward like that you can if you like it more like this so it's kind of in keeping with a bow no problems there um let's see if i can actually get this you can see that there's a handle right there which is where this is supposed to plug in as I drop everything all over the place. You can see how the, the fingers are kind of curled around, so it's probably not going to be super simple to do this. Uh, let's see. Come on. Come on. I know you can do it. There you go. You're so close. All right, there we go. The problem is the morpher kind of gets in the way. Um, so maybe it would be better on the other hand. I should have thought about that before. Now I have to go through this all over again. Maybe if I did it like this, it'd be better. I don't know. So I'll have to play with that. But you can see he can hold it. Maybe if I did it on the inside. Maybe if I did it on the inside. I don't know. You get it. It goes in there. You saw me do it. <laughs> I'll try it. Hold on. I'll get it in there again. Okay, so inside the arm, I think works a lot better for the bowstring, but that was difficult. I don't know why it was so difficult. He's got such a death grip, and it's really closed tightly. I had to, like, I used the tweezers I used to put stickers on soda to kind of pry it open and then quick put the thing in there. I don't know why that's so difficult, uh, but I think it looks good. Like, now that he's actually holding it, I think it looks cool. And, like, again, if you wanted to uh, rotate the head so that it looks more like that, you can't really get, well, I don't think you're going to be able to get like the other hand over here to pretend like he's um, drawing it back. But it almost looks like there's a trigger here on the handle, so maybe he doesn't need both hands to fire it. I don't know. But let's go ahead, let's check out this sword. Um, so I'm not really sure why the handle rotates. I don't know what that does. But this should be a lot easier to get in the hand, so that's, there we go, much better. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Is it... Oh, maybe... Okay, so maybe he's supposed to... Like, it rotates like a shield in front of him. I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, but I also kind of wish he could just, like, lock it in place. Maybe if I... Put this part in his hand. Oh, I swear if I accidentally knock out the bow, I'm going to go crazy. All right, hold on. <laughs> So maybe that's all right. Yeah, I don't know. That To me, that's a swing and a miss. I don't understand the point of this. Maybe once we see it on the show, it'll make sense. But uh, I don't understand how you're supposed to fight with a sword if it just keeps doing that. It seems kind of dumb. Can I just hold this part of the sword so that it doesn't move? Is that an option? Maybe. Let's see. Yeesh. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that is an option. You could just hold that part of the sword. It's weird as heck, but, uh, you know, at least it doesn't rotate around in his hand for some reason. I don't know, to me, when I'm, if I'm fighting with a sword, I shouldn't say when I'm because I've never fought with a sword, but if I was going to fight with a sword, I would want to have a firm grasp on it. I wouldn't want it rotating around in my hand without control. But there you go. So you can hold on to that part, and then it's okay. So next up, we'll take a look at Blue. Uh, very, very similar. He's got somewhat different armor. His armor's a little bit boxier. He doesn't really have any paint on the armor at all. It's a slightly different shade of blue from the rest of his body. Kind of the same like with Red. Red's armor is just a tad lighter. Same thing here. He's got the same uh, lack of paint on the Morpher, but he has it on the sunglasses there. He's got all the same articulation. He comes with the same weird sword, uh, but he also comes with this, which looks like the camera gun, but like souped up and a little bit like I feel like the normal camera gun would stop about here so this looks like it's had some some stuff added to it I'm calling it the Christmas blaster because it's red uh, gold and green <laughs> and kind of came out around at least we saw the pictures at first around Christmas time so I'm calling it the Christmas blaster 
but yeah, so I don't know. It's a it's a gun. Let's see if he wants to hold it. I, why do these guys all have such death grips? My goodness. This really makes it less fun to try to pose them with their weapons. I can only imagine what trouble kids are going to have with these. I mean, this line is meant for four and up. Good gracious. All right, well, there we go. So, he's got the gun. It's a crazy gun. The figure is great. I like the figure. It looks good. Good articulation. I wish it had the paint on the morpher, but that's really my only complaint. Everywhere else, I think it looks good. The helmets, again, nice metallic paint for the goggles or the glasses. Nice silver paint. Everything about the figure itself is great. The accessories are a little hit and miss for me. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, one, just getting them in the hands is, a, is enough of a pain in the butt because their fingers are so locked. And I, I don't get this. I'm assuming it's got to be some kind of like hold it here, you know, sword flips around maybe to form a shield or a barrier or maybe like a helicopter. Maybe they can use it to fly around. I don't know. But I would be much happier just having the regular sword without the weird thing. Or at least if it could like lock in place, like maybe you could peg it in. And then it would be okay, and then maybe you could like unpeg it, and then it could spin or something like that. Just if it had a way to lock in place so you could use it as a sword, and then you could unpeg it and then have the feature, something like that. But as it stands, I'm not really wild about... I like the bow. I think the bow looks cool. It's just getting him to hold it. That's the problem. But the bow itself looks neat. Uh, so let's move on to Cyber Villain Robo Blaze. Um... I don't know. He's definitely a departure <laughs> from the previous Blaze uh, design that we've had. But that's the Sentai for you. So um, he comes with, again, the th I think third version of this uh, Cheetah Blaster. This time done in kind of a gunmetal gray and gold, which I'll be honest, the color scheme works for it. And then he just comes with kind of a normal cutlass, which I'm, I'm definitely on, on, for on board for. There you, on Ford? That's not a... Mm -mm. Now, I'm, I'm merging words like Thew does. Anyway, um, I like the cutlass. I like that. And you can see it just is held. It doesn't spin around for any reason. It just looks normal. So, I like that. Head is very interesting. I like his steampunk goggles. And then he's got pretty much the same articulation. He's got a lot more head uh, back and forth for the ball joint than the Rangers do. And he's got the same kind of shoulder joint. His shoulder pads are a little bit more out of the way. So, you can get a little bit more movement there. Same elbow and side to side. Again, the hands don't move. He doesn't have out to the side uh, in the waist because all villains don't have that. They can only kick forward. So if you live in the Beast Morphers universe and you can't decide if you can trust someone or not, see if they can put their legs out to the side. That's just, if they can't, they're a villain. And that's how you know. So boom, he kicks forward. I like his giant like knee pads. The problem is he does have knee articulation and it can go from side to side no problem but i have real trouble getting the knees to bend and i'll show you why this is um if we can zoom in here so he has these weird like ratchet knees that i've started to see on a couple hasbro toys and unfortunately when this happens it makes it really difficult to actually bend the knee there we go because a lot of times you'll try to bend it and you can feel that it's it's the peg that's in the upper part of the leg that's bending. And I'm going to snap it off in my hand and I really don't want to do that. But there you go. I was able to bend it at the knee. Uh, and so he has a crazy long knee pad, which I think is kind of cool. And then I bend this back. There we go. So there's that. I like the design. I think the paint looks good. I mean, there's a little bit close up look at the paint on the chest, which is very detailed, very nice. The gold and silver all works well with this kind of brownish gray color. Uh, he has a little skirt on the back. And he looks like he's got part of a scarf as well. So there you go. But yeah, I like him. I really do. I think it's a cool villain design. I like the color scheme, the detail, the paint. He doesn't really have anything for detail or paint on the back. But I don't think he really needs it. And I like both of his accessories. So I don't know. Out of the three, do I have a favorite? It would be tough. I think uh, Robo Blaze has the best accessories. His actually makes sense, look cool, painted nice. 
Um, I will say these are painted nice. I don't really have a problem with the way they're painted. But I just, this sword is weird to me. I just don't get it. Like I said, I wish it had a way to lock in place. The Christmas gun. Um, you know, I don't know what's going on. They had the normal gun. I don't know where this came from. It's alright, I guess. It's got some paint on it, which I appreciate. Otherwise, it's just a long gun. You know how it is. And then uh, the bow. I think the bow is cool. I do like it. I wish he held it easier. I wish he didn't have such a death grip. But I guess that once he's once it's in there, it's in there. You're not he's not dropping it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so I like that the head can rotate. So depending on how you prefer it, or how maybe on the show it has something to do with like if it's powered up or if it's ready to fire or something. I don't know. So overall, I think all three of these are good figures. Nice paint applications, good articulation. Knees on this guy are a little difficult, so just be wary. Um, you know, don't don't go too hard and, and snap the knee off completely. You don't want this guy to be uh, needing crutches or anything like that. So be careful with that. But otherwise, I think all three figures are great. I think he wins in the accessory department. And these accessories are so-so. Let me know what you guys think, though. I want to hear from you. Uh, if the comments do still exist on this video... Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. So I actually forgot to do the keys. So back again real quick to check out the keys. Um, standard stuff. You can clip them on the arms. Use them as weapons if you'd like. That's what this little clip here on the back is for. Otherwise, you have the one for Robo Blaze, Beast X Red, and Beast X Blue. They actually look pretty cool. I'll be honest though, I don't know about you guys, but I thought the key gimmick was cool and I still think it's neat that they added a gimmick to the line, but I don't know, they just don't do that much for me. So let's see what happens here. You'll never defeat me. Virus upload complete. That's not bad. You'll never defeat me. So it seems like each key gets about two phrases. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. I actually like both of those phrases. When I say they don't, oops, freaking out. When I say they don't do much for me, I just mean like I don't know. I got over the gimmick real fast. Like they just it doesn't really excite me that much anymore. Probably why I forgot to do it in the first place. Gorilla Beast Power Blue, reporting for duty. Gorilla Beast Power Blue. Okay, Gorilla Beast Power Blue. can't tell if these are generic phrases or his phrases. I mean, Beast Power, Cheetah Beast Power Red, I'm sure, is new. Cheetah Beast Power Red. Let's go for a spin, cruise. So it sounds like they just recycled the let's go for a spin, cruise. I mean, we've gotten that before. So Cheetah Beast Power Red. Cheetah Beast Power Red. So again, uh, you know, I, again, I think it's neat. I think it's it's uh, not again. I, <laughs> let me start again. I think it's a good idea that they included a gimmick for this uh, line because Go Busters didn't have one. I think the keys are cool that you can use them as weapons and with the role play item. Um, but they just kind of got old for me real fast. You know, like they some of them you get about two phrases per key, and I understand what do you expect. You know, they have to put this thing can only hold so many sounds, and you know they have to come up with so many keys throughout the run of the show but um i don't know I, although i will be honest i will say that these three have some of the better sounds that i've heard i thought both the sounds for this key uh were actually really cool so he wins for me um these ones both had the you know b sticks and then the color so that's fine uh, but their their second phrase was kind of boring for both so i think this guy definitely wins the other two are kind of meh but i don't know uh, but anyway, for real this time, let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> That's going to do it uh, for the review. So let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.